says this. If you want to be saved, this is what the Bible teaches, though, you guys. The Bible says that if you confess with your mouth that Jesus Christ is Lord, right? If you confess with your mouth that Jesus is Lord and believe in your heart, God raised him from the dead, you will be saved, right? And then it says, for with the mouth one confesses unto salvation, and with the heart one believes unto righteousness, right? So we, we are, the name of Jesus is powerful. The Bible says that... There's no name under heaven by which man can be saved, but by the name of Jesus Christ. Okay, so that is the way to be saved, people. Demons come out at the name of Jesus Christ. Every revival in the English-speaking world has been in the name of Jesus Christ. Hearts are changed in the name of Jesus Christ. Right, but the Bible says that all who claim the name of Christ must depart from iniquity. Right? That's what it means to be a Christian, to be born again, to be filled with the Holy Spirit, right? And if the Holy Spirit's doing a work in us, He's going to convict us of sin. He's going to He's going to give us the power to overcome sin. That's what the Holy Spirit does. He convicts our heart. He gives us the power to overcome sin. The Holy Spirit makes us holy. God is holy, holy, holy. And he, the Holy Spirit also desires to glorify Jesus Christ. So when we become Christian, when we're a new creation, our heart is to glorify Jesus Christ. And that's also why we're out here. That's also why we're out here. Why we're out here. Right? So the Bible, the Bible is accurate, you guys. Check this out. The Bible has, the Bible has 66 books written by 40 different authors over 2,000 years. Nobody else has that. Every other religion is one person. Buddha did his thing. He gave us a set of spiritual principles, right? Muhammad did his thing, he wrote the Quran. <laughs> the Hindus have the Bhagavad Gita and things of this nature. Nobody can really understand that stuff, right? But the Bible is 66 books written by 40 different authors over 2,000 years, and it all lines up. No other faith has that, you guys. Think about that. And the reason why is because God lives outside of time. God lives outside of time. It's called being eternal. We can't understand everything about God, you guys. The Bible says that His ways are higher than our ways. Right? But God lives outside of time. He's eternal. And so that's how He wrote His Word. Through His people. Moses wrote the Torah. We have the prophets. We have history. We have Samuel. We have Joshua. We have Judges. The Kings. And then the minor, the major prophets, the minor prophets, everything in the Bible lined up from beginning to end. The Old Testament is revealed in the New Testament. The New Testament is concealed in the Old Testament, right? And that's why we're out here, you guys. The Bible is bulletproof. It's historically accurate. It's prophetically accurate. It's spiritually accurate, right? And, and, and no other religion has that. And what the Bible says is to go to preach the gospel to all nations. It says to come and tell the world the good news about Jesus Christ. Right? And so that's why we're here. The Bible says to turn from sin. Jesus Christ said, repent for the kingdom of God is at hand. When Paul pre or Peter preached in the book of Acts, everybody was pricked to the heart. And they cried out, what must it? You guys want some? What? Do you have a question? You, you can. I, I don't bite. Don't be afraid. Yeah, what's up? Well, not much. Jesus is Lord. Cool. Yeah, no, yeah, I don't want to talk to you. Do you have a question? I'm gay. Do you support lesbians? No, we, lo we love them, right? But the Bible says that it's sin. But the Bible, it, we're not here just to pick on that type of person, though. Right? The Bible says lots of things are sin. Galatians 5, 19 to 21, right? Let, let me finish, and then I'll Wait, let you go, okay? Video? You want to be my YouTube video? Just give me one sec. Let the elders speak. Right? Listen, right? Just give me one sec. Galatians 5, 19 to 21, it says what sin is. Sexual immorality, hatred, violence, murder, all this stuff. It says people living that lifestyle will not be saved. Then you will go to hell, right? So that's why we're here. We love you guys. We know the truth. I didn't know the truth when I was younger. I was sniffing coke and, and banging hookers and all this stuff. And I thought I was a Christian. But that stuff eventually almost killed me. I was doing the chicken on the floor, overdosing and all that stuff. The wages of sin is death, right? We want you guys to be saved. We want you to know the God who loves you. We want you to have an encounter with Jesus Christ. And that's why you're alive, young women. That is why you're alive. It's well, not I'm, to... I'm alive because my parents birthed me. I'm not alive because... 
That, that's true, but you need a new birth. That's called, it's called being born again. The Bible, when Nicodemus came and talked to Jesus Christ, Nicodemus was like, what? Born again? I can't come out of my mother's womb again. And Jesus said, what's born of flesh is flesh. What's born of spirit is spirit. Don't be surprised when I tell you, you must be born again. Young born women. Once? Sorry? Wasn't Jesus only born once? Yeah, but then he was born again when the Holy Spirit ascended on him like a dove, when after John the Baptist baptized him. I don't want to talk to you. Do you guys have any more questions? Right? So be born again, you guys. That's what it means. That's the purpose of your life is to know Jesus Christ, to be born again, a holy, a spiritual relationship with God. Yeah, you can, spiritually though. That, that's what Nicodemus said to Jesus. He's like, what? But God doesn't want you to kill yourself. God wants to have a relationship with you and he loves you. Well, don't do it. Don't do it because God loves you. God has a plan and a purpose. Listen, God has a plan and a purpose for you guys. And it's better for any, let me say one thing. It's better than anything that LGBTQ has for you guys. Okay. I promise you that. Go ahead. King James was gay. No, he wasn't. No, he wasn't though. Yes, he was. Yes, he Pro was. Prove it. Okay. Um, and here, here, let me say this. He, let's just say, take that as a fact, say that it's true. It, it doesn't matter because he organized a bunch of scholars. King James didn't have anything to do with the writing of the right. King James Bible. Right. Understand. Right. So right. Right. it was the scholars that he organized that did it. So if, if King James was banging dudes in the back room, it, it doesn't affect the authority of the scripture. Right? Why? Because it, he had nothing to do with writing it. Do you think I care? <laughs> Well, you came up to me. You came up to me. Right? So I'm going to keep going. Do you guys have any, any other King questions? King James organized. We, we do love you guys, though. That's the what I wrote. Scholars, yeah, wrote it, but King James. You, well, that, that, but the LGBT, that's the thing is the LGBTQ says love is love, but it's not true love. Right? It's it's actually hate. The LGBTQ is the most angry people we deal with. But I do love you. And you you don't love me, as you said, right? Maybe you shouldn't ang anger the LGBTQ people. What? Did I say anything about it? While you guys were standing there, did I say anything about it? I was talking about Islam and the authority of the Bible, right? You guys, the Bible is 66 books written by 40 different authors over 2,000 years, and it all lines up. It's absolutely perfect. It's flawless. And we will stand before God, every single one of us. And by the Bible says that uh, being gay is a sin. But I wasn't talking about that when you guys came up. I wasn't talking about that. I was telling you guys that Muhammad spat out the Quran after a third of it was burned. And, and or Uthman did, right? I was telling you guys that Buddha did his thing. I was telling you guys that Krishna and, and whatever and Hinduism is a mess. And that the Bible, the Bible is is bulletproof. It's historically accurate, it's prophetically accurate, it's spiritually accurate. When you seek God, you guys, you will find him. That That's why we're here, you guys. When you seek God, you will find him. And that is the purpose of your life, to know the one true God. But I will harp on sin all day. We will beat on Islam all day because it's a lie. I respect the people, but we don't respect the religion. The Bible says in Galatians 5, 19 to 21, that sexual immorality is a sin. Sexual immorality is a sin. That includes adultery, fornication, premarital sex, pornography. How many of you are looking at pornography? That stuff is its disgusting. It's despicable. Did you guys know that there's satanic Jews, they're called the synagogue of Satan, who do run Hollywood, who do run the porn industry, who do pervert our generation. P Peter said he preached all night and he was like, flee and save yourself from the wrath to come. Flee from this wicked generation and that's why we're here. You guys, new age is witchcraft. The Bible warns us about witchcraft. Tarot cards is witchcraft. The Bible warns us about witchcraft. Ouija boards, all the stuff is satanic. The other day I saw like a 12 year old girl wearing a shirt that said, let's summon demons. You guys, this stuff, it's a satanically pushed agenda being pushed on us. The rainbow sidewalks in every city, like the main city block in every city, they all came out the same time because the people who run this world are satanic and they put it there. The same reason kids in elementary school can cut their Johnson and and try to grow a Johnson when they don't have one. It's disgusting, forcing testosterone down their throats. Kids, like you, they're, they're, it's disgusting, man. It's disturbing. 
Why, why, why can kids, kids can't drive yet, they can't drink yet, but they can choose to butcher their genitals and then they become suicidal. The steroids that they give, the hormones that they give to kids to try and transition them over, they make women grow facial hair, it destroys their body, people. It causes suicide. It's not, it's, it's disturbing people. That's why God destroyed Sodom and Gomorrah, you guys. But God is, uh, the Bible says this, the Bible says that God so loved the world so much that he sent his son that whosoever believeth in him will not perish but have everlasting life. It's all about you. It's all about you, Jesus.